हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन एक्सपेरिमेंटल एविडेंसेस फॉर द कवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग इन ट्रांजिशन मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल थियोरी टू स्टडी द नेचर ऑफ बॉन्ड बिटवीन द सेंट्रल मेटल एटम एंड द सराउंडिंग लिगेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो when we have to study the application of molecular orbital theory to octahedral complexes let's first understand the postulates of molecular orbital theory the first is atomic orbitals combine to form molecular orbitals the second is if n number of atomic orbitals overlap with each other n number of molecular orbitals will be formed out of which half are bonding and half are antibonding For example if two atomic orbitals overlap with each other two molecular orbitals will be formed out of which one will be bonding molecular orbital and other will be anti bonding molecular orbitals if three atomic orbitals overlap with each other three molecular orbitals will be formed one will be bonding one will be anti bonding and the remaining one will be non bonding molecular orbital If four atomic orbitals overlap with each other four molecular orbitals will be formed out of which two will be bonding and two will be anti bonding molecular orbitals The third is atomic orbitals interact to form molecular orbitals and the atomic orbitals must have same symmetry similar energies and the third most important is they should overlap appreciably with each other Next is in case of polyatomic molecules For example where the atomic orbitals are more than 2 the peripheral atoms first combine with each other to form group orbitals and finally these group orbitals overlap with atomic orbitals of the central atom so in simple words these are the postulates of molecular orbital theory let's move to the application of molecular orbital theory to octahedral complexes in which we will study first sigma bonding molecular orbitals and then we will go for pi bonding molecular orbitals probably in the next video first we will see the type of atomic orbitals that can participate in sigma bonding first is s orbital second is pz atomic orbital third is px atomic orbital fourth is py atomic orbital then we have dz square atomic orbital and dx square dash y square atomic orbital from this we can understand that there are three more atomic orbitals of central metal atom which are dxy dyz and dxz these atomic orbitals can participate in pi bonding so these are dxy dyz and dxz these atomic orbitals due to their shape they can participate in pi bonding let's first understand sigma bonding in molecular orbital theory Let's first study the Mulliken symbols for various atomic orbitals. In case of s orbital the symbol is a1g. Similarly there will be many a1g atomic orbitals in case of ligand orbitals and these ligand orbitals will combine with each other to form ligand group orbitals and these are termed as summation a1g. Similarly in case of d orbitals there will be dx square dash y square or dz square These orbitals are termed as eg metal orbitals. E stands for doubly degenerate that means the energy level for these two atomic orbitals will be same. To overlap with this there will be ligand group orbitals. Those are eg ligand group orbitals summation x square dash y square and summation z square. In case of p atomic orbitals these are termed as t1u metal orbitals which are pz, px and py. to overlap with this there will be ligand group orbitals which are called as t1u ligand atomic orbitals or t1u ligand group orbitals these are summation z summation x and summation y let's first understand how the bonding takes place in case of sigma bonding for example according to the molecular orbital theory if i consider px and ligand group orbitals that is summation px these will combine with each other to form two molecular orbitals 
as we have seen in the second postulates if two atomic orbitals overlap with each other two molecular orbitals will be formed one will be bonding molecular orbital and one will be anti bonding molecular orbital please pay attention to the signs of the atomic orbitals in case of bonding molecular orbital the plus plus is in front of each other in case of anti bonding molecular orbital plus and minus they are in front of each other plus plus indicates in phase and plus minus indicates out of phase actually these atomic orbitals they are also termed as waves in phase means in case of bonding molecular orbital the waves of metal orbital and ligand orbital are in phase with each other therefore they can overlap with each other and the bond can be formed whereas in case of anti bonding molecular orbital the two waves are out of phase therefore they cannot overlap with each other and the possibility of bond formation is zero diagrammatically also we can understand this we can draw the molecular orbital theory on the left hand side there will be atomic orbital px and on the right hand side there will be atomic orbital of the ligands that is ligand group orbitals the ligands are more electronegative in nature therefore they are at lower energy these two will overlap with each other to form two molecular orbitals the one is bonding molecular orbital having low energy high stability and the other is anti bonding molecular orbital having high energy low stability now let's draw the molecular orbital diagram for octahedral complex in case of sigma bonding when we are drawing the molecular orbital diagram on the left hand side there will be metal orbitals on the right hand side there will be ligand symmetry orbitals those are group orbitals at the center there will be molecular orbitals on the left hand side we will have energy first we will see what are the metal orbitals that can participate the first is 3d orbitals there are 5d orbitals which can participate in bonding out of these 5d orbitals three orbitals the one set is called as t2g the other set is called as eg then there is one 4s orbital which is termed as a1g and 4p orbital which is termed as t1u in case of octahedral complexes there are total six ligands out of these six ligands the first is a1g the next three are called as t1u and the last two are called as eg orbitals as you can see that there are some symmetrical orbitals present in metal orbitals as well as in case of ligand symmetry orbitals out of these eg orbitals will overlap with each other to form eg bonding and eg anti bonding a1g atomic orbital will overlap with a1g ligand symmetry orbital to form a1g bonding and a1g anti bonding and t1u also overlap with each other to form t1u bonding and t1u anti bonding we can see that among 5d orbitals of the metal there are three orbitals that is t2g there are no symmetrical orbitals to overlap with these t2g orbitals in case of ligand therefore these t2g orbitals remains non bonding at the center of the molecular orbital diagram the gap between the t2g and eg star is called as delta o which is equal to 10 dq this is the molecular orbital diagram for octahedral complexes in the next video we will see some examples for the sigma bonding in case of molecular orbital theory to octahedral complexes if you like my video click on like do share and subscribe my channel if you want to ask something mention it in the comment box don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry thank you